All things that come in boxes need unboxing, but we'll also do an overview so that this episode is of some utility. So you've seen me put some solar panels on the deck. That's a good start, but they need to connect to something. So what we're going to do, and you may well have seen me start doing this in a previous uh, episode, is we're going to do the unboxing of the solar charge controllers. And oddly, I've got three of them. There's this one, this one, and this one. We'll do them in order. Uh, I'm only going to use two of them, but there was a third one that I was using for some solar charge, um, not tutorials, because I am far from an expert, as many of you will know, um, but I'm going to be looking at the differences between different types of solar charging um, technology. So I'll just quickly run you through this one here, which is a PWM, which is a basic sort of charge controller. Unboxing this one is not ridiculously complicated, although I've kind of faked it not very well because I think it probably originally came in that for the bubble wrap. Anyway, there are some instructions in there as well, but um, here it is. This is uh, a very, very basic, I think it was only 35 quid or so, so it wasn't very expensive. It doesn't connect to your phone using Bluetooth or anything like that. There's just a basic LCD screen on the front which gives you the basic details. Um, and you simply plug in your photovoltaic, so your solar panels there, battery into that one, and then if you need to um, attach a, a load to actually run something, you do it from there. Or they actually give you two USB ports, uh, two amps. Not sure whether that's two amps per port or between the two ports. Anyhow, it means you can directly plug in USB from that. I think we can all definitely agree now that the PWM from Victron is unboxed. Success on the pile. These two are actually gonna be the ones that I'm gonna use. Um, they're a bit cleverer. Um, they're not exactly the same. The reason being, um, they're both sufficient for what I need, but the reason that they're not exactly the same is because I found them in a clearance. They were still completely brand new and, uh, and unused, uh, but they were an amazing deal. And it, it, it was actually much cheaper to buy both of these together than simply to get two of the slightly cheaper version if I bought them new, if that makes any sense. And they were the only two left. So I've ended up with, um, uh, I'll show you what their spec is in a second. Um, but let's unbox the smaller one first. Um, as I said, this isn't the most convincing unboxing because I've definitely already had these out. Um, I'll just try not to rip the cardboard too badly. There we go. Um, fairly standard little cardboard protector inside. And here it is. Uh, instructions again, put those out of the way. And this is one of their, um, I wouldn't say it's sort of their, their premium range, um, because I think you can get these big, exciting, even more clever, uh, clever ones than this. But uh, this is from their Smart Solar range. It's an MPPT charge controller. Uh, I'm gonna do a whole video on PWM versus MPPT in a bit. Um, but it basically means that uh, the, the charge controller uses solar energy more cleverly than a PWM does, and so it, it harnesses a little bit extra, sometimes quite a lot extra depending on what sorts of conditions you're in. Um, other than that, the principle is relatively similar. You still plug in your battery, your solar panel, and then your load. There are no inbuilt USB ports uh, because I think they just consider it to be for a premium unit, slightly superfluous. There's no screen on the front because this connects directly to your, uh, to your Bluetooth uh, on your phone, or you can simply use it using the three lights that they have here. Uh, green will say that it's in float um, uh, part of char the, the charging curve. Uh, if it's yellow, it's an absor absorption. Uh, if it's blue, then it's bulk charging. So you could use this without Bluetooth um, just by looking at those three different lights to see what mode they're in. And I suspect there are other combinations of flashing and, and uh, constant lights that give you a code as to what's going on. The instructions will probably tell you about that. Right, so that's my first MPPT charge controller. This one can handle 20 amps, and I will give you a bit more of an idea about why that fits in well for my solar system later on. Let's put that aside, and let's move over to this one, which comes in an even bigger box. Uh, outside, I hope you can't hear too loudly, but there's someone running one of the boat lifts, and they always do that when I'm trying to do um, some audio work. Anyway. Let's open this one. This one again is same brand, 
Um, I have simply uh, bought a lot of Victron units in the past because I've considered them to be reliable, they've got a good reputation, I don't get them free or any kind of discounts from them, I, I try and get as good a deal as I possibly can. And in another story, which is going to be like a small part of another episode, it doesn't deserve its own video, there's actually a Victron unit which, I'm, which I've already got, which I'm going to stop using for a particular reason, and I'll show you why then. So I'm not necessarily a, a Victron fanboy, but I like this one, or at least I hope I do. So let's open this one. This one comes with a slightly bigger box because it is, strangely enough, a slightly bigger unit. Consider this one unboxed. Well done, us. Um, put it back inside the plastic again so it looks legitimate. Let's put that there. Um, this is quite significantly larger. Uh, it's from the same series as the MPPT20. Um, it's the MPPT30, which can take 30 amps. Presumably that's a step up in, not technology, but in, in the electrics that's required inside because it is a quite a bit chunkier and quite a bit heavier, uh, even though it's only uh, another 50% in terms of uh, the, the current it can handle. Um, but you'll, you'll be able to ask them better than me why that has to be the case. Uh, the principles of operation are the same, it connects to your phone via Bluetooth, or there are three lights here, bulk, absorption, and float, which tell you what mode it's in. Um, but the layouts of the terminals are slightly different. There's the standard battery connection and the solar charge connection, uh, but then there's no, um, there's no load connection, um, and that's presumably because it expects you to run uh, any loads that you require, of course you will be, because otherwise why would you have the batteries, directly from the battery, so not going through the charge controller. Um, there is also um, here a little data connector, VE Direct, which will enable communication um, between different sorts of units. Uh, anyway, consider this one unboxed as well. I'm going to be connecting to, unsurprisingly, uh, trying to connect them to my system in the next few days. Uh, the solar panels are now installed, Cabling needs to come down into the boat, and then I can actually set these up so that they can start sending some power to the batteries because this story has become uh, slightly long-winded now because I had the storm damage and I've just had other projects which have got in the way. So in time for the glorious British summer, hopefully we can get these wonderful units uh, installed. Uh, they were in boxes. I unboxed them. I put them back in boxes again and now consider them to be permanently unboxed. Thank you. Bye.